All right, uh, wrapped up our typical Thursday practice. Uh, even though it's Wednesday, I think the days have us all screwed up. I don't know which, which day it is, but uh, you know, had a good Thursday, had a good week of practice. Um, I think the kids worked hard to prepare uh, since Navy. And uh, the one thing is they're just, they're ready to go play. You know, I think they were just like me. They didn't want to buy week last week. They'd rather played, but uh, you know, we took advantage of that and, uh, and had a little bit more preparation, got some more guys back and uh, we'll be ready to go. Okay, we'll open up questions for Coach Houston at this moment. Coach, do you expect to have Penix and Tank back this week, or is that still kind of in flux? No, they both both practiced all week, so they're ready to go. What Just what will their return mean, especially from a leadership standpoint with those guys being older players? Well, I think it's just that. You know, older players, uh, both of them have key key roles on each side of the ball and on special teams. Uh, and that's, you know, this year, just the craziness of this year, you can't have enough people. Uh, and uh, especially guys that have been out there and, uh, you know, have game experience and, uh, you know, have, 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 have been through the rigors of this conference. Coach, earlier this week, you talked about Tulsa's size. How do you combat that size? Well, we've got better size this year, so that's a good start. Um, the, the thing is, it, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, you know, they are a big football team. Uh, we've got to be ready to fight. You know, we've got to try to match their physicality. Uh, we've got to try to execute at a high level. Uh, you know, we've got to try to, you know, do some things that uh, maybe will give them some problems. Uh, so we'll, uh, you know, we'll see how well we handle that Friday night. Coach, when you look at the way things went this week for you in practice, what is it that you like the most about uh, this week's work and, and gives you a little bit of optimism coming into Friday? Well, I mean, I got a lot of optimism going into Friday just because of how the kids have worked. Um, I think we continue to improve. I think certainly getting uh, some of the guys back that were out is going to you know, boost our, our entire roster. I think uh, you know, just continuing to develop um, you know, both sides, uh, it's just we're going to continue to play better. And, uh, and that's the goal you know, Friday night. You know, we've kind of laid out our, our plan uh, you know, consistently throughout the week of the things that I think we need to do Friday night in order to win the ball game. Uh, and that's uh, we just talked about when we left the field. You know, we finished, you know, our practice today with a two-minute drill uh, and putting, you know, putting Jake Verity in a situation to win the ball game. And uh, you know, we want to give ourselves that opportunity Friday night. And you know, it's going to be a four-quarter battle, uh, and we're going to have to fight our tails off. But uh, you know, our group is, uh, you know, they're confident uh, and they're ready to go out there and fight. And Coach, talk about how big it's been to have Holton back after the adversity. And I know it's been good to have the bye week, and now you have Holton back and have these guys back. Well, that's that's the biggest advantage of having the bye is it got everybody back and got some practice and got, you know, our timing back. You know, some of the guys were a little rusty after the quarantine, uh, so it gave us a week to get them, you know, kind of dialed back in. Uh, I thought Holton was very sharp, uh, and you know, it's just his experience. You know, when you take and you have a, a guy that's a high level player like he is. And then they have so much experience, like he does. I mean, it's really irreplaceable, you know, and it's 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 why we really liked the situation we had in the quarterback room from the standpoint of we have a, you know, we don't have an older quarterback, but we have a you know a guy that has a couple of years under his belt that does have great experience, and that gives those younger quarterbacks time to develop. Uh, and I think that's going to be something that will pay off for us, not just this week, but that'll pay off for us, you know, for the next couple of years as we continue to develop that room. Coach, I know Cliff Godwin in baseball always always hates when we ask about weather, but uh, this being a, a kind of a late Friday night game, it looks like temperatures might dip a, a little bit. Is that does that, if anything, add to the physicality and kind of nature you're expecting yeah. of this game? It's perfect. I mean, it's 47 degrees. It's balmy. You know, it's not like it's going to be 22 or, or 15. I mean, we've had we've had late season games before. We'd tee off in, in it's in the teens. Uh, there were going to be virtually no wind. So I think 47 at kickoff uh, in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So it's going to be great football weather. And that's I talked to our kids about preparing for that. I'll talk talk to them a little bit more tomorrow. Uh, I know we've had some very comfortable weather this week, but you know, to me, that's you think of Friday night football. Uh, late season football, you know, that's the way it's played. It's played in those kind of conditions and the teams that can handle that, you know, those are the ones that thrive. And that's, you know, that really fits the core thing when we talk about building our program. I mean, we're building a physical football team. I mean, that's, 
It, we've come so far. We have a long ways to go. But, you know, we're building a team that's going to be able to uh, play well in that environment. So I, I think it's a great, great time to have that kind of a game. Coach, we talked about this with Blake yesterday. Um, how important is it going to be to break serve a little bit on defense and give your offense a few more opportunities than, the, you know, than they get? Well, I mean, I just I – th I think they have a really outstanding quarterback. Uh, you know, I think he's improved drastically from last year. And he, he's just – He's, he's a great field general, and I mean that from a standpoint of, you know, he seems to be able to get them in the right play no matter what it is. He does a great job in the RPO game, uh, you know, throws the ball very well down the field and does not make a lot of mis mistakes. And so I think it's going to be very important for us to try to get him off track. Uh, I think if he's comfortable, then, uh, you know, he's going to have a lot of success. So we've got to do whatever we can to keep him off, off step. Coach, you talked about this week that you're still installing things on defense. And I, I kind of have to wonder, too, to pick up on that question, maybe stealing a possession somehow with something on special teams. Are there some things that you guys are maybe still working on or cooked up uh, coming off and off week special teams-wise? Well, I mean, we, we've got stuff that we've been working on all season that we haven't, uh, you know, put out there in all three phases. So, uh, you know, that's there's still lots. I'm sure Tulsa's got a lot. You know, I think that, you know, they were off for – you know, I don't know, three or four weeks of the quarantine. So, I mean, I've told our guys I, I, I'll be ready to expect about anything from them. Coach, coming out of the buys, is testing gone pretty well this week? Can you just provide an update there? It's gone okay. Uh, we've had some glitches. You know, we're going to have some guys out, but it, uh, you know, I think Tulsa probably will too. So, uh, it's what we're all dealing with. I mean, fortunately, we're not in the situation Wisconsin's in. Coach, is there a number right now that may be out of the as far as uh, guys out? Not that I'm going to give you. You guys can count heads Friday night at uh, 9 o'clock. Okay, are there any other questions for Coach Houston? Yeah, um, how will the later game time just impact what game day looks like for you guys? Well, you know, it's, um, it is 9 o'clock Eastern. Uh, we are going to try to get them – you know, keep them up a little bit late and let them sleep in to try to get us a little bit on central time. So it'll be an eight o'clock central kickoff. Uh, you know, we kicked off at 7 p.m. Eastern down in South Florida. So I don't, uh, I don't think it's gonna be a huge difference. Uh, we're gonna try to function our day uh, a little bit similarly to we did that, that Saturday down in South Florida, which I thought our, our players handled very, very well. And I thought they really liked uh, the night kickoff uh, in that situation. So. Uh, you know, I, th I think we'll be just fine handling. I'm glad we got the experience of a, a night kickoff earlier in the year. Okay, thank you for your time. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you soon.